Bhagavan. Speech titled Invictus. Invictus, Toastmaster Harish Bhagavan, contestant number three. My head is bloody, but unbound. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Ghost of Home, Invictus by William Henley. Do you know the meaning of Invictus? Caught a chair, respected judges, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. Let us go back in time to year 2007. It was festival season back home in Kerala. Sitting atop a hillock, I soaked in the breathtaking beauty of sunset. I hummed the tunes of the songs being played from the nearby temple. I was at my favorite place in the world, near the edge of a beautiful cliff. In my early thirties, my life was near perfect. I was happily married with an adorable wife, a cute little daughter, a prestigious job in a leading real estate company, a fat bank balance, and can you believe I was even lighter by a full 20 kilograms. Come next year festival season, I was again at the same place, but I couldn't watch the sunset. I couldn't listen to the music. All I could see was the steep cliff in front and the dark gorge beneath. Has anybody ever told you right on your face that you are no good? My boss, who was a graduate from IIT and IIM, that is equivalent to Harvard and Stanford in India, told me straight on my face, Harish, you are no good. Coming from a person of such high stature, I was certain that his opinion of me was the truth. A failed real estate transaction had pushed me neck deep in debt. My wife was pregnant and totally unexpectedly, I became jobless. I was devastated. Had there been a pandemic at that time, I would have grabbed the biggest mask and moved the farthest away from people. There was no pandemic. I closed myself still inside a room and hid under a blanket from head to toe and remained on bed endlessly. There was a constant replay in mind. Harish, you're no good. You're no good. On the face of failure, there are two ways to respond. First way is to think, I failed because I am no good. This invokes shame. Shame is corrosive. It leads to depression, violent acts, and even suicidal tendencies. Have you heard of students who attempt suicide because they failed in an exam? Do you know why? Those students are ashamed. They think they failed because they are no good. Borrowing a concept from the book Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, imagine a person who is ashamed and as a result, loses the strength and motivation just by one percentage per day. Over a period of 365 days, that is one year, that person will almost entirely lose the will and skill. There is another way to respond to failure. That is to think I failed because I did something wrong. That invokes guilt. Guilt is transformative. It leads to introspection and attempt to correct what went wrong. You would have heard about this woman. She was an impoverished single mother. With the script of her first novel, she approached leading publishers and was rejected. Not once, not twice, but 12 times in a row. What would you have done in that situation? She didn't stop. She approached the 13th publisher and the rest is history. Title of the novel, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, author J.K. Rowling. Imagine 
a person who is guilty of failure and attempts to correct what went wrong as a result imagine he he or she improves just by one percentage per day over a period of one year that person will become about 38 times better again the power of compounding the difference between guilt and shame is subtle to begin with but over a period the results go profoundly different on the face of failure there may be a parent a teacher a friend a spouse a boss or even an expert who might tell you you failed because you are no good do not believe them because there is no person on earth who is capable of precisely predicting the future for instance imagine there is such a person who is so intelligent experienced and educated as to know the future precisely that person can easily make millions or billions in the stock market and afford to live peacefully without being a disturbance to anybody my head is bloody but unbound i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul nelson mandela used to read the poem invictus to his fellow inmates during his 27 long years of imprisonment invictus is the latin word for unconquered dear all i had this midlife crisis back in the year 2008 it didn't prevent me from going on to work in many different multinational companies and growing heavier by 20 kilograms during these years what i have learned is that on the face of failure regardless whatever you may feel regardless whatever others may tell never ever think you failed because you are no good always think you failed because you did something wrong and attempt to correct it that is the secret of invictus madam contestant 